Go ahead and do that, and I'll show you what I got once I'm done there. Okay, I got both magnets on. I have not um, glued these halves on. I've just taped them on. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to pick this up with one hand. The sword's really heavy, and I'm not even done with it yet. But you can see, let me see if I can show you this. You see that they're right up, right up and tight up against there. That's, that's good, because that's the magnets holding it. And you can see I still have to finish the front sword, and that's in progress yet. Um, and again, you can see that this side is also tied up against it. That's good. Other way. Um, this is what the front will look like. That'll be finished in, and those tips will be finished in. Um, so now we just have to put these halves on, um, and hopefully <laughs> um, it won't screw it up again. You can see that the back needs glued together. It all needs to put together yet, but this is just a test just to see that it will hold. Um, I can pick it up to a certain degree. Um, hold on. Hold on here a second. Okay, I'm holding it right now. It's really heavy. I could spin it on its back, shake it to a certain degree without them falling off. So that's exactly what I want. So I'm gonna be walking around with this. I spin it this way. I mean, they're on there. I'm sorry this is close up, but I'm only doing this by myself. Uh, so they're on there pretty good, and that's exactly what I what we need. So like I keep saying now we gotta finish putting the both halves on, and we can move on. Okay, what I just done is I took the foam, and like I said, I ran it along both sides of the doll rod on there. I put a little on top of the doll rod, and a little bit around the outside, just a little bit, not a whole lot, just so it wouldn't poof. Um, so that's what I did right now. I'm waiting for that to set up. I did that to both of them. The reason I didn't do it the way I did last time is because hey, last time I screwed up and then I, yeah, you just seen the mess I had to go through to fix it. So I just put a little bit of foam in there, mainly just to hold the doll rods in there when it fully dries, just to hold it all together. And then once all that, the foam dries, the doll rod will hold there. I can take the hot glue and I can glue both edges together and I can go all the way around the outside. Um, I guess the reason I use foam instead of regular glue is because I, you know, we silicone these edges, and glue normally doesn't stick, stick to silicone, so that's why I use the foam and hoping that it would um, grab a little bit further than the silicone and then grab the doll rod to the plastic better than what a, a normal glue would. So that's the reason why I use the foam instead of the glue. Yes, glue would have been easier than the foam and I wouldn't have to worry about um, this over expanding, but that's, that's why I did. Uh, just trying to see how it's going. I can't really tell. Uh, so now we're just going to have to wait until our foam sets up and we'll see how we did. If we messed up again, we'll have to fix it or not. So, we'll see what we got. Okay, we're finally finished with the serrated blades. Um, you can't really tell, but I've glued these together. And you can see the back's a little messed up, but not too shabby. I can live with it. Um, I got them lined up so it's just even up. I had to trim a little bit off each of the back to get them to line up. But those are done. Those are all glued together and we're good to go all the way. So, excuse me, now that those are done, you can see I've added the front piece on this sword. My design is a little messed up. We're not going to be able to have the inner part here, the round part. Um, that's fine. When I take the sword off, I'll just clamp them together and it looks fine to me, so I'm just going to go with it. So now that the Sergei blades are done, the front sword's done, the inner sword's done, um, we're going to start on the... Yeah, the other ones, I don't know what to call them yet, but those are what we're going to start on. I'll get the plans, I'll, sh I'll show them to you. So that's what we're going to start on now. Okay, since we're done with uh, the serrated blade, like I said, we're going to start on this sword. Um, now what I've done here is I basically drew out a square, or not a square, but a rectangle, sorry. And I drew out the basic shape of the sword. You can't really tell, but there's a line right here on the edge. I'll have to draw it darker for you. I have the basic shape out. And what I'm going to do for the handle and this piece, since it all, it'll fold in, as you all know already, um, I found a paper cup and that's basically the circle. Um, the focal point is going to be here. It's not going to be exactly, I know the, this is actually higher, but 
this is the only thing I can come up with right now. I mean, you can use your own ideas, but this is what I'm going to do. Obviously, the focal point's off here because I was just trying to show you what I'm going to do. So this circle is going to be moved. So the turning point's going to be in the middle. Um, what I'm going to do is I've got this chunk of wood, which I've been using for my straight edge, but I'm going to use it anyway. And I'm going to inlay a piece of it like that. So it's going to be... This will be chopped off. This will be inside the wood, and that'll give us that spacing. So that'll be inside the sorry, inside the sword. Sorry, I'm tired. And since that's going to be inside, that will the wood piece here will help create. I'm barely going to hit it, but it's going to create the turning point for this piece. And since this is going to be in here. The rest of this back here, I'm going to chop off another piece. It's going to be about an 8 inch handle to hold on to. And I'm going to put in a hinge right here as well. So this will fold up upon itself. And that's what this notch is for here. So this will fold up. This will be the focal, the turning point for this to swing up. Um, I'm probably going to, I'll explain how I'm going to do all this later. But this is what I thought of. So this is what I'm going to go with. Um, and as obviously as I'm uh, laying this out, I will show you more in case I'm not explaining myself well enough. So, we've got the basic sword design. I'm going to cut that out. Um, I'm going to cut this out. Um, this one twice, because this is going to be the back of the sword. And then I'll probably have to cut this out again and then trim it down to the top piece. And again, I'll show you. So, we're going to cut this out twice. So, that's what we're going to do here. Okay, what I've done here is I've actually cut out four of these. Um, they're all the same size. The reason I cut out four is I'll explain later, but the reason I cut out four is now we're going to put on the edges and glue in the piece of wood here. So that's what we're going to do now, and we're actually going to create the sword. So we're going to put the edges on and put the wood in. So, yes. Okay. Okay, we're still working on the last couple of blades here, and as you can see, I've put the edge on. And also, I talked about uh, that block of wood. I've glued the block of wood in, and you can see I've cut it here, and this is going to be the handle. But on top, I found a hinge, and it was just the right size. I mean, it was just the right size. So I put the hinge on there. So obviously now, when you want to hold the sword, you hold the sword. And when you want to put it on the main sword, you take this, you fold it up, and voila, there you go. And then that'll go up on that. Um, now what I'm, we're going to do, since we've got this on here, we're, we're going to put this up on our sword. We're going to line up where the magnets go, and we're going to glue in the magnets. So that's what we're going to do there. Okay, we're still working on this sword here. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm creating... Um, this piece and as you can see obviously I have drawn it out I have cut it out Now what I did is I took our top piece here and you can see I laid it in there to try to line it up with our circle and then I just kind of hand drawed it and yeah drawed it drew it <laughs> and I yeah that's what I came up with now we're gonna make two of these so you see I traced it and I'm gonna cut that one out so that's what we're doing right now while we're waiting for uh, our magnets to dry. So we'll go ahead and cut that out. Okay, so we're still doing this sort here. Um, as you can see, I've got this glued on. I've got the edge done. So the magnets are glued in there. And now you see that I told you before I cut these pieces out. Now what I've done here, as you can see, I found the center point of the circle. I drilled a hole and I found a very tiny screw. And I put that right in the center and I screwed it. You can't see it. Oh, where's my hand? I so this is. Oops. Well, anywho, you have to so imagine that this. Yeah, that the screw is like right there, right here in this corner. So that's what I've done. So now I'll zoom out and I'll show you. Um, this folds up. And this folds in. 